Welcome to Automobilia, the collector's show for everything and anything automotive. I'm Lawrence Lambert and today we're at Birmingham's NEC for the magnificent International Classic Car Show. Now, on the other side of this classic Morgan, 1964 I'm told, is my partner in crime, Gary Ashburn. How you doing mate? I'm alright mate, how are you doing? This is unbelievable isn't it, this, this is Morgan. unreal. Can we yeah. afford it? I don't know, I was hoping I could put 50 down as a deposit, what do you reckon? Well, not enough. <laughs> no, probably not. No. Now, each week, Gary and I, captain two teams, mm -hmm. we have £150 to spend, after which time an independent judge decides who got the best buy, the best bargain, or indeed, the worst. So, right, so we're ready to go, are we? Meet yeah. the contestants. Let's go and meet our other contestants. Good Can't luck. Stay looking at this too long, I just love it. <laughs> you yeah, good you luck. can't afford it. Take See care, you later. see you Bye. soon. Hi there, my contestant today, of course, is Bo. How are you, Bo? All right, Gary. Welcome, mate. We've got 150 smackers to spend, In the eh? pocket, yeah, ready yeah. to go. And what are you actually looking for here? Well, I'm more into the advertising kind of thing. I went to art school myself, so oh, I'm right. really into the visual side of things. But I've got an old MG myself. Oh, OK. So it might be a mix and match of a bit of sure. both, possibly. Yeah. yeah. Whatever and catches my eye, yeah. really. Have you been to this show before as Not well? Not this particular one. I've been to the NEC for other motor shows, Autosport and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but this is my first time here, so right. I'm quite looking forward to it. Yeah, there seems lots of different stuff. Yeah, there? loads of different stands, and, uh, some great cars. Yeah, so. I think the 150 quid's going to go pretty quick. Well, it's burning a hole in my pocket already, <laughs> mate, so we yeah. should go. Should we go and have a look, yeah, then? See so we can get, yeah. Let's yeah, go. Go on. go on then. Right, you've met Gary's team, now meet my team. I'm with the lovely Rebecca, and Rebecca's from Gloucestershire. That's right, from Gloucestershire. Now, you're a big motorsport fan, aren't you? Absolutely passionate about motorsport. Good. And any reason why? Because your job's related, mm, is it not? Yeah, it certainly is. I work with a lot of stars, and I work for big, one of the biggest motoring publishers in the world. Ah, so you must be a big fan and a big collector. Absolutely. Been bought at Rand Cars all my life. Good. Anything specific you like to collect, or...? I love motorsport art. Oh, it's good. We yes. can, I'm sure we like can sort Mike that Fourinho, out. Like Mike Fourinho, Dexter Brown, Michael Turner, that ah, kind of thing. renowned artists. Uh -huh. And other bits and bobs, maybe? Yeah, sort of like matchbook cars, corgi cars. I, I was brought up around that kind of thing, not Cinders and Barbies. Good. So I, I've got all those dinky cars, so yeah, I'd like to add to that collection. Guys, I've fallen on my feet yet again. <laughs> now, you've got your money, haven't you? I certainly have. It's, it's in my back pocket. Yeah, £150. Yes. So, off we go. <laughs> right. you know, well, I really love this old graphic stuff, you know, the old advertising material. Yeah, it's these great, enamels. Yeah. Yeah. The only trouble is they're, they're repro and I really, yeah, and even they're so nice, they're not quite they? my bag. You know, no, they're actual reissues though, aren't they? They're, yeah, they are. But the old stuff, when you, you can actually see the, you know, the very limited palette that they had to use and stuff like that, that really turns me on. And I know there's some just up here. So yeah, you like the real thing. The really? real thing. Yeah, yeah, don't we all? It'll be more expensive, <laughs> but worth it, I think. Let's go and have a look. Now, Rebecca, you said you like motorsport art. Yeah, I really like motorsport art. I mean, this isn't a piece that I would normally sort of go for. But uh, so nice to know a bit more about it. Really. Well, that's good because this is a significant piece, nevertheless. Uh, this features Shelsley Walsh, and that's uh, a very renowned hill climb that took place in the UK way back in the 1900s. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure there must there must be a history to this. Uh, maybe we could ask the trader if he knows a little bit more about the print. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Hello there. Please. Hi. Uh, just wondering if you could enlighten us a little more on this particular print. Yeah, basically uh, Shelsley Walsh, which is the oldest motorsport event in the world, is in danger of being lost uh, next year. Oh, right. And they're trying to raise 1.2 million, I think it is, to renew the lease for another uh, 99 years. And the artist, Tony Smith, has kindly donated the copyright on the original. Okay. Me as the paint box have agreed to publish it okay. as a print and then all of the proceeds uh, are donated directly to the trust. Now either way then, this will be a very collectible print in its own right, would it not? It's, it's already a limited edition of 850, that one being number 41. That's good, that's, very long that's good. <laughs> Signed by Tony Smith, mm -hmm. the artist. <laughs> I know it's sort of a charity, and I, I'd like the idea that the money goes, goes, uh, goes donated to Shelby's Trust. I think that's really nice. Can we say 50? 50, yeah. 50 for a 50? deal. 50 for a deal. It's a deal. deal. Oh, thank you very much. All right, good start. <laughs> thank you. Okay. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. Right, go wrap it, we'll have it. Lawrence and Rebecca may have got a great bargain, but some aisles away, Gary and Bo still haven't seen anything they like. To do with the old chamois leather, help the wife. She needs to do some extra cloth for the window cleaning. Give you some brownie points if you did it yeah. yourself, mate. Oh, here this, we are, look. This is the place. This is what you've been looking for. Oh, right? absolutely, look at these. Yeah. Now you love all the big signs and everything. I like something with a bit of impact. Yeah. yeah. I love some of these little 
they're called the Nicky Nicks, but yeah, I think they're like the stuff, yeah, Hi, you? how you Hi. doing? How you doing? Nice yeah. to see you both. Gary, well. how you doing? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. You're collecting today? Yeah, we're yeah. having a look yeah. around. Yeah, see what you've got. I mean, these stuff. are genuine ones, aren't they? Yeah, that's right. This everything, is the thing we're after. Yeah, well, everything thing I'm after anyway. genuine on this. Mm. Well, yeah. And you've got yeah. the M that's one of the MG staff beds. That's right. Are they limited edition, aren't they, those? Yeah, they were, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's something a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's the sort of thing often as well. That, you know, if you're looking for something that's going to go up in value, good chance that's that That's true, but like I can't see any of these um, these old signs dropping in value. Oh, no, I mean, they're wonderful, aren't they? But that's not really the point, Mark. I like to see, you know, it's, it's the impact of the, the beautiful visual thing yeah. that it's going to give me. And that and red sign in particular. Yeah. I think that is, I mean, it's got very, very limited palette. And yeah. it's also got those like, washed out colours that they used to use in the yeah. old days. And I think that is You can't stunning. beat the original, can you? Yeah. No. Do you want me to go down for it? Yeah, if you want mind, yeah. I don't want to drop it on something and break it. That's right, there you go. Have a look at that. Cheers, real thing, it's, eh? it's just the right weight for, for hanging as well. Yeah, nice. It's in good condition as well, isn't it? Oh, it's right. It is. Better not say that too loud, though, you know, we'll get the price. Well, that's right. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a few dinks and, yeah, and stuff as you'd expect over the age, but uh, all in all, I, I mean, that, that really does something for me. Yeah, I don't it's know just why. the sort of thing you collect, man, isn't it? This? In, in this respect, yeah, I mean, I, I do collect a lot of First World War trench art, but, you know, as it goes, as far as graphics go, this, this suits me fine. Yeah. Bo is happy with his find. Let's see how Rebecca is getting along. That Mercedes is absolutely stunning. Yeah, well, you're not wrong because all these models are, are really superb. Um, this particular section are made by an American firm called Exotto, and they specialise in this particular scale, which is 1 18th scale. So it's, it's bigger than the uh, specialist mm -hmm. scale, which is 1 43rd, which is a small one. But these in the 1 18th scale show a lot more detail, but of course they're a lot more expensive. Mm. Let's lift one up. Oh, jeez. It's heavy. It weighs a ton, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Um, okay, this one's a, a Cobra, mm -hmm. Shelby Cobra. And they only have made 200 AC Cobras out in America, haven't they? Correct. Mm. And this is authentic to the last detail. I mean, all the parts are working or, or opening. Hang on. Now, this particular car was driven by a guy called Bob Bondurant, and it's a Le Mans runner. I think it's, I'm not sure of the year, but 65, mm -hmm. something like that, from mid-60s. And I suggest we go for something like this. I can tell you're excited. I, I am so excited. if you're excited, I'm excited too. Well, as long as you are as well. Okay, go Shall for we it. ask the guy? Yeah. Who is he? Hello there, excuse me. Oh, hi, <laughs> hi uh, we're interested in, in, the, in the Cobra. Yeah, no problem. We're just, want to know what sort of price you can do for us. How much do you think these are new, the wholesale price? I can tell they are exquisite, Yes. but you would really help us if, if we could set on 50 pounds. I've got to win this bet. Plus she's got to win, win. we've got to win, win we've got to win this show win as well. <laughs> 50 pounds? Yeah, for British cash. Pounds. Yeah. With the Queen on it? Yes. Done. Yay! Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Gary and Bo, meanwhile, are happy with the genuine metal sign, but haven't committed and now have been distracted by a classic fire pump. I did also notice while I was here that you've got some of these old pumps. Well, the, the, the um, fire pumps? Yeah. 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 Now look That's at that. Lovely yeah. condition. Yeah. That is it's nice to find them it? with the brackets so you can fit them in your That's old right, car. That's right, yeah. And, you know. That's lovely. Or even you could hang it on a wall of a right. piece yeah. of a yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. Well, anything like that now, I mean, it's yeah. wonderful, isn't it? And to get something like this in yeah. condition, I mean, I'm like you, I like the originals and stuff. Yeah, as it's well. nice to get things complete. But it is nice. That's, that's right, I mean, there's a bit of solder at the top there where yeah. it's been mm. repaired, but I mean, no, I think you know. that's in the manufacture. Do you think so? It looks yes, a bit. Yes, I do, I believe so. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's not sure, really. It's to fuse the two pieces together. You might well be right. Yes. I'm not going to. I'm not going to argue it's with It's nice that. to have all the logos on here and look at it yeah. uh, over the oh, years. Oh, it's gorgeous. It? Well, well, the patina has come onto that and there's a little yeah. bit of rub in there as well, which actually yeah. adds to it, really, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I really like that as well. Is that another one we're going to have to do? Well, I was just wondering whether we could do a deal for the two. <laughs> we probably can. Go on then, make me an offer. We'll make you an offer? Yeah. You're selling it to me <laughs> So now. I can say no. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of the fun. What well, about, £68. I don't know, pounds. 65 for the pair. How about that? Go on then. Cash. Yeah. Good man. Yeah. Well, I've got to get my hand in my pocket, haven't we, as well? Fantastic models well, if I can again. find somewhere a, a decent little Michelin man for, uh, say, our third item, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be made up. So Gary and Bo have done a deal for £65 on the Red X metal sign and the fire pump, whereas the hill climb print and the Cobra model have set Lawrence and Rebecca back £100. Who'll get the best bargains? Find out in part two. Welcome back to the NEC Auto Jumble, where two teams have £150 to buy the most interesting and collectible automobilia. 
It'll be judging time soon, and so far Gary and Bo have a genuine metal sign and a pre-war extinguisher. Meanwhile, Lawrence and Rebecca have a limited edition print and a rare model Cobra. The judging is looming, and both time and cash are running out. What do you think of those, though, Gary? Yeah, they're, they're wonderful. They're amazing. The old, uh, tin plate. They look like yeah, going 50 mile an hour just sat there in the case. Yeah. Yeah. What's the background to them, do you know? Um, they, they came from a, an antiques dealer friend of mine in, in Belfast. They survived all the uh, scenarios that have happened over there, you know. Yeah, wow. So, um, made in England. Are they? Yeah, they're English. What make are they? Do you know? Does I don't know the make. No, it just, no it just it. says on them, made in England. Yeah, you know. they're nice, aren't they? Could you put a date on them at all? I, I would suggest they're from the 50s. Yeah. You know, I would suggest that. Go and look at one of those yeah, in sure the flesh, because yeah. they're very unusual. Yeah. I mean, actually, you know, I mean, I love my models, but these well, that's are right, really yeah. unusual. I mean, these streamliners, I've not yeah. seen much like that before, no. to be honest. They look great, aren't they? And they are in good condition, as you say, mm. for the age, aren't they? Wow, yeah. But will they buy? Meanwhile, how's Lawrence doing? Not far away. Rebecca, sometimes it's nice to get something that's quite valuable, mm. even though not a lot of people know how valuable it could be. We quite like this um, Corgi Jaguar at the top. Right. Can you tell us anything about it? Do you know anything about it? Yes. Um, they were a limited edition done for the premier dealerships only. Um, that one is quite a nice model, very, very precise and um, colour, roof, etc gives a really good description on the back and as I say not do, not done for the general Jaguar dealership but just for the premier people ones where we found that the so could it be like more promotional then do you think rather yes, than possibly. general release yes do you want to open the box no, no I just want to check if it's um, got a certificate in yes. it has it got a certificate it, yes they normally do with the no. limited editions have a certificate in the back sorry <laughs> well, well it might oh dear it might be sealed in that case hang on no there you go now, presumably, then, they're limited to, to a certain number, are they? Yes, yes. I don't think there's anything and else inside. But... Avid collectors do actually have a look at the, cl at the collector's certificate in the box. Right. If so they are, to yes, it. to make sure that the numbers are, are different. Yeah, you do want it, don't you? I do like it, yeah. yes. I do like um, it. Seven. Six. <laughs> meet, meet us halfway, six. Six fifty now. Oh, six fifty. <laughs> okay, I'll give you the one fifty. <laughs> They've got a bargain, it seems. Meanwhile, Gary has made some great finds. Oh, I mean, yeah, look at this, Gary. Yeah, this is something else to oh, you. There's isn't something it? for everybody here. But what I was thinking was well, uh, some of these grills. Yeah. If you imagine uh, a diffuser, piece of perspex behind them, and lighting. How good would that look on your wall? Oh, yeah, look brilliant. And they work. The, oh yeah, you got the original box. box. Yeah. They always say, should we mint them boxed? Yeah. Wow. You see, look at that. Yeah, that, that is beautiful. It's in really good condition, isn't it? Yeah, this is great. I can tell you got your art set on this, really. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know, Gary. Well, I mean, have a... I want to have another look around just to see, see, if, there's, see can... if there's that little Michelin man there for me. But uh, okay. I can see this as a, as a definite second choice, for yeah. sure. Especially yeah. with the box. Yeah, that's no, nice, isn't it? I mean, BMC, whatever happened to them? Yeah. The good news is, we managed to get the Corgi Jaguar for just a fiver. Absolutely. Bargain. So it gives us more money to play with. Now, you were talking about authentic auto jumble, yeah? Yes. I know we got our print, I know we got our models, but these are authentic oil bottles. Yeah, I like these. I like the idea. Good. Well, they're period pieces. So what age, you know, how old are you getting out? Well, the shell one is older than the Castrol one. The how do you know that? I, I know by the the design, the Castrol one, this is probably late 50s, early 60s. Right. The Shell one is probably early to mid 50s. Um, and you can still see some residue of oil, authentic oil in the bottom. Uh, classic designs, both mm. of them, but this one I think is more collectible, the Shell one. Right, okay. So let's ask the guy, excuse me, um, how much? 24. Ah, 24. Oh. Now we're running out of money, aren't we? We are running very low on money. Is that your best offer? 20? <sighs> For cash? Yeah, why not? All right. Oh, well, okay, well, we'll take this one. <laughs> That's you. for you. Thank you. And we'll have this one. Thank you very much. Pay the man. I said well. Oh, here we go, Gary. This is Just the stuff. what you've been looking for, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is precisely the sort of stuff I was looking for when we first came in. I mean, I know it's repro. But it's, it's obviously very good quality. I mean, yeah, just really look at attractive, it. isn't it? Just, yeah. I mean, hi. Hello. Got... hi. Sorry, Gary Ashburn. Hello. 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 I'm John. Yeah, hi. these are great, aren't they? Now, these are recreations, are they, of the yeah. original yeah, we've, posters? Well, we've taken everything from the original artwork and recreated yeah. it. 
Um, and as you see, there's a lot of deco influence um, in, in what we produce. This one's stunning. Yeah. I know it's on the yeah. people keep. Stop been looking at that. Yeah, Real we, we, we actually like um, Art Deco ourselves, so we're very sure. fond of it. And um, so that's why there's quite a, a few from the 30s. And, sure. uh, and what would something cost like that as you see it there in that big frame and everything? Well, framed is about £60, pounds, depending on what frame you want. Good, but yeah. um, the actual poster will sell uh, for £14.99 normally, or wow. £12.99 today. Wow. Uh, that's got to be a, that's a good deal, be, isn't it? Really? Yeah. And I'm yeah. sure we could do a deal on, say, three. Yeah, yeah, we'll do a deal on three. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've got it. I, think, I don't think I'm going any further than this, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> no. This is exactly what I was looking for. Special price to you, three for 25 quid. There you go. You've got yourself a deal. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. You're going to pay the man. Eh? I am. I'll yeah. pay you there. Thank you. Quickly before he changes his mind. Yeah. I absolutely love love this it's fantastic we've seen it it's like yeah well it's actually aluminium the only thing is the downside it's a beautiful print but it's about 200 quid Darren, i bought all that stuff yeah and this particular artist is a, a austrian Amazing. guy called klaus wagger but he's renowned for this sort of work say that when you're drunk yeah and then, you're right say it when you're sober this is this is a 30s auto union type d uh probably nuvolari a very famous number number Four and fourteen. Hmm. I think we can get a good copy of this, yeah. but for no money. I so come and have a look, it. yeah. Love it. This is great. Can't yeah, afford it. I'll show you this. Okay. <laughs> Check this out, Rebecca. Ooh. Look what I've seen. Oh wow! So that's oh, exactly the same. That is. That is beautiful. And I reckon this is a lot less. I really like it. So what we need to do is frame it, and you yeah. can put a spotlight on it. And you've got a really nice piece there. Proud it's to fantastic. be your hung on any wall, yeah? Be, yeah? So let's find out how much from the lady. Okay. Hello there. Hello. Um, we're interested in the Auto Union print. Yes. And we like the aluminium. We know that's very expensive. Yes. How much is something like this? This one is £25. I've got that. Perfect, because we've <laughs> only got £25, 25 pounds left. left. <laughs> we'll take it. Okay, that's great. Thanks. With Lawrence and Rebecca spent up, Gazza and Bo are still after their Michelin men. Hey, hey. We knew we were coming, it, didn't yeah. they? Look at this. Modeling. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Michelin men. Is this one? Oh, this one's. Is this, is this, is this a repro? No, no, that's. The, the, a lot of the Michelin stuff, they're not reproduction, but they still make new items. Oh, Michelin right. make publicity items and they sell them. They have a. They have a catalogue uh, system, and also they have a, a, sh a large shop in Paris. Oh, so this is quite modern, but it is a, yeah, an original. Yeah, it's from, it's yeah. from the late 90s, that piece. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't know whether it's actually still in production today. It probably isn't, because they tend to only run them for about two or three sure. years, yeah. and they change them again. Oh, it's so different, isn't it? It, so keeps, it keeps the collecting habit going for, yeah. for, for the, for the collecting. And this one would be much older. Nice. Really that that one's a lot older, yeah. It's made of bakelite, that yeah, one. Yeah, I thought it yeah. felt like it was. Yeah. There's a story behind yeah, that. It's an interesting story, that. Um, they, they were given out to the, to the workers when they had a child. Oh, right. as, as a little uh, congratulations gift. Uh, they did a pink one for the girls and a blue, blue one for the boys. Oh, wow. The blue That's one cool. tends to be yeah. harder to come across, yeah. you know. Well, that's nice, it's yeah. different. They say all yeah. original, isn't it? Yeah. It's big, mate. Yeah. 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 And it's yeah. as well. That's and your you know. shoes, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, on Friday night. <laughs> Who's been talking to you? Oh, shucks. But have you seen this? Yeah, that's lovely. I love that. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. That is in pristine it? condition as well. Isn't yeah. It? Look at that. Yeah, that's great. I've got to have that. Now we've reached that point, our contestants have done all their buying, had a great day, haven't we? Absolutely. And of course, this is the point when it all happens, isn't it? And we're going to introduce you to our special guest, the very illustrious Chris Briley, who today is our judge. Hi, Chris. Yeah, nice to see you, Gary. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is um, a tough job. There's some lovely, lovely pieces here. Obviously, a lovely um, uh, Exotto model there, but this, this shell, shell bottle, um, is that one of, one of from your contestants? Yes, that's one oh. of Rebecca's. Uh, we liked it. It's a period piece. Absolutely. It's a piece of authentic auto jumble. Can I ask how much it cost? Uh, we got it for £20, didn't we? Yeah, we got some down. So that's we think it was a nice buy. Yeah, that's the other one, obviously, with, with, with my diecast heritage, that Corgi model Jaguar. Um, I bet you paid a few bob for that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. all of £5. Pounds. Did, no. <laughs> yeah. That is worth at least £30. Pounds. Excellent. So great buy. Great, great buy. Um, and the finite extinguisher, Gary. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? We, we really like that. I mean, obviously, that's something that's close to Bo's heart. But what's so nice about it is you hate to measure all the logos and everything. Yeah. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? You can sort of mount it, put it on the wall, or, or actually use it still in the car. And mm. that, that Red X print down there, Gary, that's right, the tin print, tin plate, yeah. original sign. 
Well, that is an original sign. Again, they look great. We were looking at some of the repros, but the originals really? just had that little yeah. coup de grace, don't yeah, they? You know, it's sort of the real yeah. thing. You, know? you, you can spot the originals from the from the repros. Um. Sure. We thought that was a good buy as well, didn't That's we, right, really? Yeah. What did you actually get that for in the end? Well, we did a deal, didn't we? On, mm. the, uh, on the fire extinguisher and the two, and I think I got about 15 quid knocked off a pair of them. Yeah, so it was a good buy. Hey, guys, the good thing about this is the contestants get to keep everything they purchased. I know. <laughs> so it can't be bad. So what it, a show. Eh? So like some and of these remember, collectible shows. Funny enough, um, Rebecca got the Tony Smith print for fifty pounds. It's a Shelsley Walsh uh, hill climb, yeah, and that's framed as it, as we mm. see it. So mm. that's a real signed steal. as well there, absolutely. Yeah. And we got a nice Auto Union print, uh, twenty five pounds. So we got some nice mm. artwork as well to keep. But there's yeah. a, a tin plate card in there. I was looking earlier, made in England. <clears throat> that that's got to be a, a, a bargain. Um, Darren asked how much that one cost, Gary. Actually, cost ten, didn't it? In the end, ten, quid, ten yeah. pounds. Good we buy. reckon good, obviously the same buy. as you yeah, with my diecast yeah, background. I reckon that could go for a lot of money. Good buy, good buy. Um, and, and again, the um, the Exoto uh, car here. Those I know they retail for 120, 30, whatever. You've not paid that, but you must <laughs> have paid. What, what have you paid for that? 50? No, come on, truth. Serious? Serious. 50, oh, pounds. 50 pounds. Bit of haggling from Rebecca though, yeah? And a, well. and a little kiss. And a smile, yeah. And a little kiss. <laughs> As it goes up, if I give them a kiss, <laughs> what goes up? So listen, end off, what do you think, yeah. Gary? What, let the man decide which we got piece it, won't we? Yeah. would be the overall winner. It, it genuinely is a tough decision, but knowing what I know, and I know that the Chelsea hill climb is, is in danger of actually finishing if they Correct. can't raise 1.4 million. And, I, and I'm happy to say that your contribution to that went to the hill climb fund. It did. So a little bit of nostalgia, let's keep it running. I am gonna go with the Tony Smith print from uh, yeah. Bex as the winner, so congratulations. Well done. 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 That's it for this week. So until the next time on Automobilia, we'll say goodbye. Yeah, yeah? see you soon. Take Bye. care, keep Bye. collecting.